We're hopping into Easter week by learning how to create the perfect Easter baskets at home. All in that and more is happening today on Houston Life. Lovely gears now to Easter. Can you believe it is only a few days away now? And creating Easter baskets is a festive tradition for the entire family. Yeah, and there's a few procrastinators out there. Yeah. Uh, Joe Sam is at a local shop in Pasadena giving us some simple tips to make those baskets really pop. Hi, Joe. Hey, Courtney, Derek. So this is something that my family, we do all the time just before Easter Sunday. We get all of our favorite things and we make those baskets, really get people excited about it. But guess what? There's a local shop that's been here for 20 years doing it for everyone. We're speaking Miss Danelle right now with do-it-yourself gift baskets. And we have some beautiful Easter baskets here. You're going to show us how to up our game with the Easter baskets. So really quickly, tell us what do we need to do when we're upping it from the regular baskets to something that's a little bit more creative. You, what you really want to do is find something usable, something that the kids are going to keep and they're going to want to use, even for the adults too. Like this one, we've got a cute little shopping cart filled with lots of candies and oh, toys. Oh yeah! So the basket is is not going to be thrown away. It's not going to go in an attic or a garage. They'll be able to keep this and use it. She can eat everything in here and then use that to put all her baby dolls in after and play around with something that continues to give day after day after day. That's Absolutely. something really important. And all of these products, you can even see this one over here. This is a gigantic, huge basket here that we see. You get a lot of those products done here at do it, Design It Yourself. Yes, absolutely. Let's go ahead and check out some of those products right now. We have an entire room that you have filled with so many different things in there. Give us another quick tip about stuffing these and making them look so beautiful as far as they are stacked. We. It, that's a little tricky. <clears throat> um, we use boxes. We, we can layer with boxes and everybody can use boxes at home too. And we stuff with paper to make them nice and big and tall. And those that don't have a lot of the products that we have, um, glue dots, they can use tape and mm. stack them and make them high and tall. So we're going to check out all of these amazing products that she has up here in her stock room so that we can get ready to design our own basket for Easter. She's going to give us some more tips on how to make it look really, really festive and make it look really e elaborate and elegant for this holiday season. For right now, we're going to go send things back to you guys. I'm going to try and not eat all the candy that they have here. <laughs> all right, Joe. Good luck with that. You know, Easter candy is my favorite. It's so good. Out of the entire season. All right, Joe. We'll see you in just a bit. Welcome back here to Houston Life. We're getting you ready for Easter, and we're doing so by talking to Design It Yourself. Danielle is going to be giving us some information on how to actually make our baskets. We're looking at this one right here as our model basket, so you're going to teach me how to actually get it to that level with some simple tips. So go ahead and start explaining to me what I need to do first. You kind of already got started with the stuffing inside, as you can see, which levels it all out, just give it that extra height. Yes. So what else do I need to do next? So most people at home don't have a lot of our products, so you use tape. All right. So you're going to take a little tape, roll it. Okay, a nice simple double roll That's up here. It. And put it behind the product. So we have our favorite peeps. Everybody loved the peeps, so we're going to put it there. And place it right below. Perfect. That's it. All right. Awesome. And this is going to help it from moving all around, correct? Yes. yes. All right. And what do we do next? We just continue to layer, right? Yes. So you'll do... If you want to make it look like that basket, you're going to use your Sour Patch next and put it in a corner. Now, when we talk about doing this here, I see all of the different heights. So you want to start from the taller items on down to the shorter ones, correct? Absolutely. You want to be able to see all the products in the basket. This is actually really, really cool. So for people who are doing this at home, what's another tip that you would give them to make sure that their baskets come out looking like these amazing baskets that we see here? Just make sure that everything is taped and secure um, and... Make sure that when you put the cello bag on it, it's nice and tight. Nice and tight, because you don't want all of these products falling out and rolling all around when you do do the travel. Now, of course, I'm not as good as this here, so, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people who are doing this themselves at home may have a couple of struggles with some of the baskets. You want your basket to look really nice. So where can they go if they don't want to do this themselves? Where can they go to actually get you guys to do this for them? Our website is designityourselfgiftbaskets.com. And we are 100% customizable. We've got hundreds of baskets to choose from online. Um, chocolate, gourmet, candy, tons of candy baskets. And if they don't like what they see, they can give us a call. 
and we can customize a basket just for them. Okay, I think mine is looking a little messy. We're just trying to get it to look as pretty as we can, but as you can see, it, 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 it doesn't look that bad. I think <laughs> I did a pretty good job compared to the one that we have here. We're kind of close. Not bad. Ms. Danelle, thanks so much for all of this information. I think I'm going to take this one home, and we're going to wish everybody a happy Easter as well. Yes. Courtney, Derek, I kind of, I, I'll give myself maybe a 5 out of 10 <laughs> compared to the basket that we see here. Look, it's Look all that. that counts as what's okay. inside. <laughs> all right, Joe, thanks. Exactly. <laughs> Good enough to eat. All right,